At the start of the film, we see a man who has covered his face. He has tied up a man, and after taking out the bullets from his gun, he puts them in the pocket of the man and takes the gun with him. Then he puts a strange device on his chest. He has kept its remote with him. He tells that man that you've left no way for me. He goes from there after injuring him with the knife. We see a strange message on his device and hear his screaming sound. Later, the scene shifts to some friends who went camping in the forest after completing their studies. Among these friends was Kato, who was the most spoiled boy. While his friend was totally the opposite, he was quite noble, but his friend always used to suspect him, that he is having an affair with another girl. We see their deep friendships in their conversation. Erin was in their group and was quite innocent. She used to live separately, and when Erin went to the bushes for the washroom, she came home. The same man that we saw at the start of the film makes Erin faint, and she gets her senses back. Along with her, all of her friends wake up with strange jackets. They all have on a jacket now, and a timer has been placed on it. Later, when they see the gas cylinder, they understand that that someone has made them faint with the gas. One of their friends had also disappeared from here. When the man comes in front of them, they learn that he was their science teacher. Along with this, he was the father of Erin's friend, who died. He tells them that when his son died, his wife took her life with his grief. Because of this, he lost his family. He thinks that the murderer is among his friends and might have killed my son. He tells them that today there is a trial for their friendship. As he pressed the remotes that he carried in his hand, all of the devices that were set up with their jackets were switched on. The one who has a lot of time will be the one to survive today. Later, he shoots himself. Seeing this, everyone gets afraid and begins to take off their jackets. But they were not getting off. They don't understand what will happen when the time is over. Some have much time on their device, and others have less time. The biggest trouble for them was that there was no help for them, and their teacher had also broken their phones as well. They don't understand that they're really in big trouble. They began to fight with each other, but some of them thought it was a joke. When they go ahead, they see their friend Bobby, who was hung by a tree. Bobby's friend was about to move ahead to free him. Then the other friend says that it is possible that this is Bobby's trap. Because he has called us here, he is with that teacher. Hearing this, some of the friends were not in favor of releasing Bobby, but Bobby was requesting that they please free him. I had kept my most serious illness a secret from you all. That teacher learned about it, and he used to blackmail me. I'd no other way, that's why I brought you here, but I didn't know about his plan. That he'll trap us this way. I'm ready to tell you about this device if you free me. His friends set him free after having pity on him. As he gets free, he attacks everyone with the knife. But he couldn't kill anyone, and soon his device's time ran out, and he was blasted in front of them all. His body turns into pieces. Seeing this, everyone runs after taking one's friends. Kato's friend was also there, and his friend was still suspecting him, so she refused to go with him. Kato's friend returns to his camp alone, and he keeps the teacher's gun with him, thinking that it might be useful for him. Later, we see another friend who is quite nervous because his time has now ended. He tells his friend to stay away from him because he's also going to die soon. Later, when another friend was coming to them, he mistakenly attacked her with the flashlight. The girl dies on the spot. It happens that all the time remaining for the girl was transferred to this boy. He becomes quite worried. One of their intelligent friends says, who has now got it all? There are sensors in our devices, and the ones that will die will have their time transferred to another one. Just like PUBG. Instead of the weapons, the remaining time will be transferred to others. The teacher did this intentionally so they could all take each other's lives to save their lives. After hearing this, they become enemies of each other, because life was dear to everyone. A friend there was also hearing this and was a little crazy. Her intention was seen on her face because her time was about to run out. After holding a piece of wood, she begins to attack them, but they all run from there. The true faces of all the friends reveal themselves here. They all became enemies for the rest of their lives. Two friends immediately run toward the camp because they still have the phone, which they left in the camp. But there was no signal access here. So they run toward the height while taking the phone. Kato's friend asks Erin to be his partner, and they go ahead to find the help. There is another friend of theirs who is in search of her prey. Her time is about to run out. When she sees Kato coming toward her, she attacks him. The clever Kato says to that girl to save his life, You were saying that my friend is deceiving me and he had an affair with another girl. She is no one else but your best friend, which I learned from her phone. That mad girl gets another chance to take someone's life. She attacks her friend with a knife, but her friend attacks her and kills her in a single attack. Now, the girl has also understood this game. Although Kato tried to kill her, 
being alive is the only way to survive in this game. She teams up with Kato, and both make a plan to prey on everyone. On the other side, the friends who got the phone tell us that the girl calls her dad, who is a police officer, but her call isn't connecting. She begins to doubt if her dad might be in any trouble. When they find out the location from GBS, they learn that he is near them. There, Erin and her friend find the same prey as the teacher, which we saw at the start of the film. The man, whom he kept tied this man was no one else but the father of the girl, who was calling her dad. The teacher was doing this because he still thinks that his son hasn't died from any drugs but rather from being deliberately killed. This all happened at the friend's party. He killed the father of that girl because he closed his son's case without an investigation. The truth was that there was a killer among them. Erin's friend finds the bullets, and he keeps them with him. His friend's dad was about to die. Erin's friend kills him after filling the bullets in his gun. Erin can't believe that her friend could be this cruel. He makes her understand that I've done this all because of you. Because he couldn't live for a long time and was about to die. After killing him, you've at least got his time. After giving Erin the gun, her friend tells her, you can keep this, this is for your safety. Because you have the right to live, and he goes to find Kato. Because he thinks that the killer of his science teacher's son and his friend is Kato. Because he had brought that drug to the party on that night. Now, Erin meets her friend and tells her about her dad. After hearing this, she begins to cry, but Erin tells her that we don't have the time to cry, we've got to find that remote, and she tells them to find it, and she decides to go to Kato because his life is in danger, there, his friend has also found him, both had a dangerous fight, and Kato killed his friend in that fight, now, Kato tries to kill one of his other friends, in the end, he kills him after taking his gun, the friend whom he killed has the most time that Kato has now, but he has to win this game, and he wasn't one to give up, he kills his other friend and is now in search of his last prey, which was Erin and her friend. When he goes there, Erin's friend shouts at him, you've killed all of our friends. She doesn't want to become a killer like him, so she runs after injuring him. While running, she thinks that if Kato dies, there will still be one survivor in this game. So she now tries to kill Erin and points her gun at her. Here, the truth of the story was something else. Her friend tells her that she used to hate that friend. He used to secure more numbers in school than I did, and because of him, I didn't get a scholarship. I mixed that medicine in his drink, but I didn't know that he'd die, and I've asked my dad to close his case. After giving the gun to Eric, she tells her to kill her. Because only you have the right to live, Erin doesn't want to do this. Meanwhile, Kato comes from behind and kills Erin's friend after attacking her. Erin's friend dies on her lap. Kato has less time than Erin. If he has to live, he has to take Erin's life but he also knows that Erin doesn't have enough energy. He was provoking Erin to fire. Erin thinks a lot but doesn't kill him, and after firing at his legs, she leaves him with the device. Kato also died after the blast. Now, Erin was the winner of the game. She has won this game, and the device also turns off automatically. After a while, it was morning, and Erin went out of the jungle. She finds a man who was in his car. After seeing Erin's condition, he rejects her request for help. At the end of the story, we see a dangerous smile on Erin's face, and the film ends with this suspense.